can take you somewhere, but it will never sustain you. It took Samson somewhere, but it was lack of character that caused him to, the glory left, then the vision left, then he became a public spectacle. So anointing and power, which every person here is looking for power. Oh, I want power. Hey, hey, hey. Man of God, give me your anointing. Hey, listen, you're not going to get all the anointing of somebody. Somebody's been praying and fasting for 40 years. You think you'll get anointing through a hug, one hug. Aye, Boba Zalwani, it doesn't work like that. I wish, I wish. If I could get it, I would have hugged some people a long time ago. Hey, <laughs> 40 years of praying and fasting and worshiping and reading the word David and I was so privileged to be a part of it and the visionary the visionaries are Daps a son local son of yours here Daps Daliop Guam and uh, his lovely wife Helen Guam who I'm so privileged to be associated with uh, they're for me their family I have the privilege of being with them and, and walking this walk and you know that it is not by coincidence that we are here this is a God-ordained and God-appointed time. And when the Lord began to speak to me about what was going to happen in Africa and how he would use the worshipers to trigger the flood that will come in Africa, he also spoke to me about these two nations with a redemptive purpose for Africa. And he said, I will bring the South Africans and Southern Africans and Western Africans together. And he said there will be a fusion and a, a cross-pollination of South African worship music and West African worship music and it will merge and it will fuse and it will bring a new sound, a new genre of worship music. People will not understand the music. It will be beyond comprehension. They will ask themselves, what kind of music is this? It is a man of music. Because the people will say, what manner of music is this? What manner of music can promote healing? What manner of music can bring deliverance? It, 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 it is a it's, it's, it's a worship, you know, prophetic worship um, conference or, or meeting. But um, part of what has been birthed through the Feast of Incense is a project called Mana Music. And Mana Music uh, was prophesied. God brought the prophetic word to us some years ago to say that he would desire to raise up a generation of true worshipers. Not worshipers who are in it for the money, for commercial reason, but worshipers who are genu genuine seekers of God's face, seeking God's face. And so out of Mana Music, it's not just about an event, it's a movement to connect worshipers from all over the world who will birth new waterfalls of worship and, and it's African worshipers who are being raised up in this season. Even in this album is being released. Even in this album, let them know that it's been released yet. Remove every burden. There was a season in the United States that we saw God using Ron Canoli and, and all those worship leaders and the mantle and the baton was handed to Hill Songs and we saw that. But we really believe that God is saying there's a new worship, a spontaneous worship, uh, a raw worship that is being birthed in Africa. Waterfalls of worship that God is calling for a worship to be raised out of, 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 of Africa, an unadulterated worship that will provoke worship from other nations and that will bring in mist of healing and deliverance for other nations and and feast of incense and mana music god has given them uh, raise them up also to be custodians of of, of 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 part of this raising up a generation of new worshipers network of ministers who will walk in righteousness who will walk in truth but who will also be transformation agents for god transformation agents that god will use them as worshipers to sing new songs of deliverance to sing new songs of for values purposes. for the nation. He will shoot you and you will not miss your target because you're in the hands of the mighty warrior himself. God is commissioning his people. A new generation. A mighty generation. A generation that will not back down. A generation who know who they are. 
that their identity is in Christ Jesus. Not looking for personal recognition, but being sent out by the master. The generation that will say, Lord, here I am, send me. Send me, oh Lord, I'm ready. Send me out. Send me out in prophetic worship. Send me out to do the will of the Father. Jesus said, not my will, but thy will be done. God is raising up. Yeah. Well, well um, Africa is, is, as somebody once said, the fourth man in the relay race in the end times. You know that the fourth man that you use uh, is, is the one who brings the race home. You know, he must be strong, he must be swift, he's the Usain Bolt. When Jamaica puts him there, Usain Bolt takes that, that he's like, he brings it home, the, the race home strong. And, and Africa, I, I believe that one of the reasons why God has his hand on Africa, we've seen a lot of things. We've gone through a lot of challenges. We understand issues around poverty. Although we're not impoverished as a continent, because Africa is the richest continent in the world, we're not impoverished, but there are pockets of poverty. And I believe that that is what has trained us to be strong in this season, to deal with certain, the attack of the enemy that he's bringing through um, you know, ISIS and all these other things. God is raising us up as, as like the Duba Lion. Do you know what the Duba Lion is? I preached on the Duba Lion. The Duba Lion is a special lion that lives in the zone, only, only kind. And the Duba Lion is, is, only comes in the Akabango swamps, which is a place of hardness. It's swampy, it's difficult, it's hard to navigate. But the Duba Lion has certain capabilities that no other lion has because of the hardships. So the Duba Lion can climb trees where other lions don't climb trees. The Duba lion can swim, other lions don't swim. The Duba lion can take down a male buffalo by itself, but for other lions, it will take a pride of lions to bring down one buffalo. The Duba lion hunts any time of the day, not during the night. I think this is the time to say proudly Africa. <laughs> there you go. So I see Africa as the Duba lion, that we've been trained through disease, famine, certain hardships, all this to be people who will not bow down, but to be able to do things that other nations have not um, been able to do. It's hardships, the Bible says, through trials and tribulations. That's what really causes you to grow to that spiritual, um, you know, preeminence that you need. All the things that are happening now, the spirits, the demonic spirits that are there, Jezebel spirits of sexual immorality and unrighteousness, it's not going to take a wimpy Christian to deal with that. It's going to take a Duba lion kind of Christian who has experienced a certain level of certain hardships and has survived. And I said, yes, Lord. And I believe that's one of the reasons God is using Africa. But Africa has a redemptive grace of refuge. It was, to Af it was Africa that kept Jesus safe. It was to Egypt. The whole aspect around Egypt. So Africa has a redemptive grace of providing refuge that was ordained even before time. So Africa, I'm, 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 I'm challenging you now. Rise up to your redemptive grace of providing refuge, of, 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 of redeeming, of bringing redemption to mankind. It's here that we have to provide food for people. 60% of the world's total land that is uncultivated, that can give food to the whole world, is in Africa. And Nigeria, you own a great part of that land. Where people are, are feeding people GMOs, genetically modified food with hormones causing cancer. Africa, you should be moving from begging bowl to bread basket, giving organic food. We are a place of redemption. We are a place of providing refuge agriculturally, spiritually, and otherwise. So Africa, we call on you right now to rise up to your redemptive power. Every single one of you 54 nations, from South Sudan, from the North to the South, from Cape Town to Cairo, we speak to you, Africa, and we say, rise up to your redemptive calling. Rise up to your redemptive grace. Rise up to the calling that God has called you to in this time, in the name of Jesus. Oh, 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 o